Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a handgun that excites the daylights out of me. I, I couldn't wait to get my hands on this. It's made by Bull Armory. It's a SAS-2, that's the series, but it's called the TAC 4.25. And it's a double stack 1911 or 2011, depends how you want to say it, but this thing is really nice. Four and a quarter inch barrel, hence the name 4.25, but what it offers is very advantageous to the shooter who loves this type of handgun, which I am certainly one of them. One of the things Bull Army was able to do is create what is traditionally a 16, 17 round mag and create an 18 round mag. They reconfigured the mag created 18 rounds they give you two of them and that additional round is very nice you look at the the staccato model the same four and a quarter inch barrel that's a 17 round mag they came with two 18 round mags a polymer grip very grippy nice texturing on there you get a great feel on the pistol the flat mainspring housing i have to believe that's 20 line per inch as well as the front strap and you'll notice that it has this flared mag well that is made of aluminum and the can be removed if you want. I don't see a downside to it. Full three-figure contact. You kind of grip the bottom of that mag well. Feels great in the hand. What I like about this is that they changed this model from the SAS-2 to an aluminum frame. And that makes the pistol even lighter. So when you, when you grip this, you can tell the difference between this and a steel frame 2011. Full pick rail on the dust cover it's a very nice ambidextrous thumb safety and the trigger is worth talking about the trigger pound uh, weightage is three pounds now if you look at the site it'll say between three and 3.5 pounds has a slight curve in there nice look to it a little little unique there and the trigger guard has that undercut in there squared off with some texturing there but three pound trigger and man was I was I able to notice that at the range right there with a very nice 1911 reset which keeps you on target and that light trigger pull you just you just squeeze that trigger a little bit and you are firing and I, I love that because when you transition that light trigger pull with Decreased recoil, it just keeps you on target as you transition from target to target. Now, they all come optic ready, and this is the direct mount. I have a Holosun green dot on there. I love I love this green dot. It comes with three reticles. It has the circle, the circle dot, and the, just the green dot. And I went with just the green dot, and it is so nice. With the tall front sight that is suppressor height and serrated black rear sight you could co-witness that it helps with sighting it in and i love the house of models and this combination just worked for me it has forward serrations they're a pretty deep cut right forward serrations are nice and then the cutouts in the slide they they look cool with the stainless barrel but also there's a reason why those are cut out and that accounts for the weight of the optic so you can keep a 11 pound recoil spring in there which is what they did okay it's a lightweight recoil spring it's not too heavy and it cycles great without any additional weightage on the recoil spring extended magazine release right there we'll see right there there's a look at the rail and the trigger guard and it has a full length guide rod and a bull barrel that is fully ramped i'm going to take this apart and you'll be able to see that for yourself another thing with the rear sights these are glock compatible so if i wanted to put a night sight on there okay i could do that with by removing this and throwing a glock out i, I wouldn't do that i don't find any advantage to it but that is available for those who would like that. But I will tell you, when I sighted in that optic and I took this thing to the range, it was phenomenal. Love the way it handled, love the recoil management, and I love the way I could transition from target to target. I stepped back past 17, 18 yards, should I say, and it, it was so nice. I think it looks cool with the stainless 
beaver tail and grip safety it certainly uh, gets the job done that trigger pull is amazing If you go with the TAC 4.25, you will receive everything you see here, including this heavy nylon carry bag. Here's a look at the frame. It's an aluminum frame. You can feel it's much lighter. And take note at the length of those frame rails. Those are some long rails. That adds to longevity, longer than many other handguns in the same class. There's the aluminum flared magwell. Nice touch. Here we have the slide. They all come optic ready with a direct mount RMR footprint. What I have here is a Hollow Sun 507C with the solar panel on there. They call that the X2. Very well machined. That does not come with the pistol. Here we have a four and a quarter inch bull barrel that is fully ramped. A full length guide rod, and this is how you take down the pistol. You put this pin in there, compress that spring, and pull it right out of the top of the slide. Two bore brushes, a patch tool, two 18 round magazines. I like that. And if you don't go with an optic, here you have this cover plate. You just throw that on there if you're a little more traditional or you're the type that fights optics and some additional screws, some hex wrenches. And here is the carry case. Good looking carry case, has a place for additional mags. And then this cover here, you can throw some accessories in there. The MSRP is pretty attractive, $1,760. The TAC 4 and a quarter has a PVD coated slide and a black nitride aluminum frame. That's what the SAS 2 stands for. They, they created this with an aluminum frame. Why'd they do that? They wanted to make a lighter pistol for carry. So those who love the 2011, I certainly do, or those who want to carry a 18 plus one capacity handgun with a full size grip that is accurate as could be, they could have an easier time with the aluminum frame. Now, one thing that people always ask me, what about holster support? Does, does that gun have holster support? And over here I have a Priority One holsters made specifically for the TAC four and a quarter and it is a nice holster fits in there perfectly this one's inside the waistband has those two metal clips there clips in nice and tight and it it's actually easier to carry because of the aluminum frame that that's the driving point behind it well actually the driving point is the shootability of this and what it offers but also for carry the weight is lighter and that is always a nice touch when considering ccw Let's go ahead and get the TAC 4.25 on the scale. We already set it ounces there. 31 7 8 ounces with an unloaded magazine that is inserted plus the Halson 507C. 18 rounds brings it to 39 and 5 8 chambered round. We're looking at 40 ounces even. Right there is the difference between the aluminum frame and a steel frame. It would be much heavier with a steel frame. But let's go ahead and throw this Kydex holster, Priority 1 holster on there. 43 and 3 quarters ounces with 19 rounds, an optic, and the holster. The Bull Armory SAS-2 TAC 4 and a quarter. I have to admit, I, I really fell in love with it. No learning curve at all. I took it to the range, sighted that optic in. Love that optic. Hollison does such a nice job. But once I sighted it in, and I loaded up that mag and started firing away. I was blown away. It is so nice with that three pound trigger pull. The overall function of the pistol was perfect. No malfunctions whatsoever. It was just a nice experience at the range. That doesn't always happen. Can we just admit that? But I love the TAC four and a quarter. I literally, like I, I fell in love with it. The more I shot it, I was like, man, I could just stay here all day and do this. And I actually stayed longer than, uh, I missed part of my dinner. Let's just say that, or it was cold. My wife wasn't happy with me, but love the TAC four and a quarter had a great time with it. And I plan to do a lot more with it. 
I think that for under 2K, well under 2K, this offers a ton of for the money and you throw an optic on there you're right around 2k with a 2011 with 18 round mags you're doing all right and i'm doing all right with it and i will show this off more in the future if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe